Well, well, well. What do you know? Falange Spain just got a pretty big buff. However, does it actually make this path any better? Well, that is what we're here to find out. Let's begin. Ah, uh, yes. First things first, Nationalist Spain's prep. Don't worry, nothing's changed, I still don't like it. Feel free to watch the video I made about it to know why. Well, well, well. Here we go again. But for once, the Falange. Okay, first focus first. Extra stab, please. And alright, if you've watched the other video, you know what I'm going to do. Try and take the north and push down. So, thank you very much. And how many units up here? Hmm, maybe a few more. Right, there are 36 left, so let's just dump you guys on the front line. We can take some tiles, that'd be great, but it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, one, you right there, there we go. And prepare to head down. Okay, what should we go for first? Probably... Yeah, I'm thinking you. Didn't manage to get Bill Bow, but oh well, we can work on that. We can work on that. It's really tempting to do an offensive up here, but it looks like I might be able to take Bill Bow without one. So if I could, that that'd be so much easier. So I'm gonna hold off. Nice. Right, I'm gonna let the volunteers and stuff deal with that. That's not my problem. Let's reorganize this just a little bit. Right, I see no need to use my good units on something so uh mild like this, so let's go for a classic naval invasion. Should be able to break the front line with this and start a pretty good push. At least in theory, you never know with Hoi 4, it works in mysterious ways. And pretty much complete success. Right, let's go. Let's use this. And what do you know, because of our shenanigans, the AI has literally left that tile empty. What an idiot. Right, it's definitely time for another offensive now. What should I do? Madrid, I think. Oh, what a perfect coincidence. The AI moved faster than me. There was no unit there originally. I'm just going to walk straight into Madrid because the line broke. Look at that, the line is pretty much in complete collapse now. Even got Valencia for free as well. Unfortunately, Alicante is mine. <laughs> no. I'm I'm going to Cordoba, whether you like it or not. Of course that unit just suddenly railroaded out of there, despite me not telling it to. Why wouldn't it do that? Why wouldn't it do that? Hopefully that's enough. Come on, we're so close. Will Real be enough? Come on. 2% away. Right, did have a bit of a reinforced meme in Madrid, but there we go, we're back. Now, hurry up. Well, 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 look who showed up in the stupidest of places. Still not enough. No reason, though. It, they should surrender by now. <coughs> and this is why Death Force surrender is a stupid national spirit. They should have capitulated ages ago. But there we go. Luckily, there is no unplanned offensive in Salamanca. So, this shouldn't take long. Well, well, looks like we've suspended the constitution and the time has come to eliminate the Carlists. I was hoping to have these guys capitulated by now, but Hoi 4, Hoi 4 does what it does. As you can see, they're holding nothing and they still live. There we go. 
just managed to get the Anarchist in time. Perfect. Well, right, let's prepare for the car list now. Well, well, speak of the devil, here's the Carlis. And that is a ridiculous spawn for them. Seriously. Why is their spawn this big? Whatever. Time for a prisoner exchange, which doesn't really make sense considering the Republicans have been capitulated, but whatever. And yeah, it looks like a good old naval invasion is in order once again. Great, just like old times, we have to neighbor invade Acaronia. Right, and another will go to Oviedo because, well, that just seems sensible. Right, let's go. There we go, though. Managed to get Oviedo. Perfect. The line can now spread out completely. Well, well, well. Mola is now in charge. Ah, 15 attack and defense core territory. Balance, am I right? Anyway, one party state. Oh, and we are done! Nice. August 37, basically a year. Not the best Phalangist Civil War I've ever done, but you know what? I can call that okay. That is okay. Alright, time for the National Syndicalist State. Pima de Rivera, time to return. I just find it funny that technically he was still in prison despite the Republicans being capitulated. Just, we, everyone decided to leave him there. <laughs> Pretty good traits, actually. Cheaper military guys, basically. Slightly less PP, but we're already getting 1.4 a day, so... Alright. And it's funny, Prima de Rivera adds political power, but he also takes away political power. He's a man of many talents. Anyway, yes, these extra sieves. Well, well, sorry Portugal, I know you helped us in the Civil War, but... Has to be done. And what do you know? Germany and Italy still want to help us. Thank you very much, and I'll take the lot. The Spanish Empire has grown once more. But more importantly, we've got 21 ships. Almost doubled the size of the Navy. And I managed to rescue my spy, which was totally the real reason we did this. Right, we must now strengthen the supreme reality of Spain. That sounds a lot more regal than it probably is, but whatever. Well, I'd love to recall Spain, but as you can see, compliance is too low. So instead, the will to empire. Even more PP, which I guess is useful. We're going to need quite a lot to do all these decisions. Oh, and also gives an extra sieve and a addition to Prima de Rivera's trait, Empire Builder. Faster war goals? Yeah, yeah, I can live with that. Alright, this should be fun. We've just bypassed Unite Iberia, but we can now absorb the Portuguese Empire. This is the first of the new buffs. In the past, all this would do is basically just give us a war goal on Brazil. But now, as you can see, it gives us cores on Portugal, which is fine, I suppose. I mean, I guess it's a tiny bit more consistent than the Iberian Union, but whatever. Right now, we have 41 factories. How many will we have? 57. Nice, we've become a major. And now it's time for the big one, the one you've probably been waiting for. Reassert American Dominance. I know a lot of people like this focus, and sure, why not? It's fun. Let's see what we'll get this time. Right. Who's feeling sensible, and who's feeling brave? Let's see. Everyone, take the message. Hmm. Everyone but... Nicaragua and Cuba. I don't know how to feel about that. But whatever, you get what you're given. 
Let's embrace the Spanish destiny. Extra mob speed and attack. It's good, but it's the only army buff that this path gets. And in any case, it's nothing compared to Crusade Against Democracy. Right, Germany's going around the Benelux, so it's time for the traditional justification on French Guiana. 25 days, that's Empire Builder talking. I could just join the Axis as well, but where's the fun in that? Shouldn't be long, and there we go. Let's go. Declare. I'll take that invitation. Thank you. Time for the traditional landing in the UK. Let's get to work. As usual, asking nicely is one of Hoi Poor's most overpowered strats. Yep, Germany just declared on their own puppets. Whatever, let's go. Strike force and green, great. Have to wait for the legendary blip. Make it quick, that'd be nice. Good, finally we can start eliminating some gorillas. Oh, what do you know? We got the blip when I wasn't even paying attention. Oh well, whatever. Result is a result. Let's get going. I've had... This has taken long enough. Yeah, Germany managed to pull some shenanigans with Denmark. Because of course they did. They didn't even annex them. What? Germany left them in the Faroe Islands. What a mess. Oh well, that's something I suppose. Huh, Newcastle fell first, that's a rare one. Right, now hurry up, let's do this, let's do this, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm in London already, because of course I am, why wouldn't I be? And the UK has capitulated. Okay. Right, let's focus on taking Latin America and Canada. Yeah, Canada. Through them. Namkin Canada is just important for the plan. Anything else we get is a bonus, but I'll happily take some things if I can get my little hands on them. Why? I don't even remember giving that up. Thanks, Germany. I'm sure you're proud of yourself. Oh well, that's a mild problem. Time for the next stage of the plan. Taking down FDR. He looks way too satisfied. Right, time to expand this army quite a bit and go after him. Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to use my puppet's manpower. I do not have enough divisions for this. They're probably going to be rubbish. But oh well, a unit is a unit. A fodder is a bit of fodder, if you know what I mean. With every state that we call, we get more manpower. And thank goodness, we actually have enough equipment to afford units. Manpower was the debate, but it looks like the debate's going to be fine. Right, the Americans are still very, very, very weak. No more than 85, let's get them. As usual, breaking out is always the funnest, funnest thing, but once we do, just need to get going, you know? Come on, come on. Cut off Newark. And got Washington as well. Thank you very much. Right, time for the great race to LA. My favourite, my absolute favourite. Uh, gotta be done, gotta be done, but you know, you know, you know. Right, this hasn't been the most clean invasion of the US, but they are ready to fall, so let's see if I can't cause some shenanigans. Whoops, America capitulated first. Right, annex the Philippines, and let's pop it the rest. We do have to integrate the US later, but that's later. 
Right, I fancy a load of nonsense, though I have quite a few of all goals, so let's use all of them. All the used one in Cuba, Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. Right, is that everyone? Probably not Brazil. Oh no, Nicaragua. There we go. Can't be bothered to deal with Brazil just yet. Right, one at a time. Mexico is next. They shouldn't be too hard, but you never know. One of them can form a faction, though. That would be great. Well, it must be a very bad time if you're Trotsky. But so far, going well, I'd say. Mexico's almost down. And thank you very much. All mine. Right. Guess we should invade Cuba next. In the meanwhile, I guess I'll send the rest of the army to go and deal with Nicaragua. Just walk in. Break in them will take a second, but it shouldn't take more than that. And there we go. We are self-sufficient. We have removed recovering from civil war. No focus is ready to do at this point, so suppress subjects. Using their units against America wasn't my wisest idea, but whatever. Oh, you've just made my life a tiny bit easier, Peru. But whatever. I'll take you all the same. Nicaragua. Oh no. War in America means, yep. Peru has the Amazonian War. That's gonna be fun. So fun. Excuse me, what the fuck? You have no right to sign a white peace with anyone. Great, so it turns out Paradox didn't test that, and it ignores puppets. My favourite. I hate it when they do that. And Cuba. Thank you. Right, obviously pushing through these mountains is not the best idea. So let's naval invade Panama and then use that to push from there. Oh, I forgot I had Panama as my puppet. Whoops, bit of a mistake there. Whatever, I'll call them in all the same. That surprised me, we're making actually good progress through the mountains. That's ridiculous. That shouldn't be working. But you can't argue with a result, I suppose. Are we seriously looking at a possibility where we push into Caracas instead of Bogota first? I think we are. Yeah, we managed to take Venezuela's capital, pushing through Panama and the mountains before Bogota. I mean, we did just lose it, but the point still stands. Finally, Colombia. I almost expected to capitulate Venezuela first. Seriously. At least this time I'm wrong. And thank you very much, Venezuela. Just four to go, because Peru still exists. Of course, the main thing... Yeah, 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 naval invasions. It's just naval invasions. It's always a naval invasion. The main problem, of course, is they still have that stupid national spirit. Oh, no, they don't. Thank goodness. So they are actually killable. Oh, God damn it. Damn. I'm really annoyed that the peace out still sort of worked for them. It really shouldn't have. Or if it did, I should have gotten the event and not Ecuador, considering they're my puppets. Right, this time you don't get to escape. Looks like we might get a little prize. The ability to walk into La Paz for free. Which is good, considering a certain someone has 30 defense on core territory. And Peru has been a fawn for long enough. Thank you. Right, now we can probably just do a united front straight into the remaining countries. Bolivia. Done. And since Paraguay is my puppet, I can call them in. 
As you can probably imagine though, pushing through this part of the world is just not a good idea. So, can you imagine what the brilliant plan I have to do about that is? Oh hell yes, it's a goddamn naval invasion. Yay! Good, that's how it should be. Thank you, and thank you. And yet again, another line extension is in order. Thank goodness. Brunas Erez looks like it's going to be mine. But yet again, the AI move faster than me in a very coincidental manoeuvre. However, that was not enough this time. Supply hub and all is mine. Really, the main problem is probably just going to be making sure we get those last VPs. But hey, that's a mild problem. Let's make sure we're done. The AI did an encirclement all on its own, and it's four in Cordoba. That is acceptable. Considering it's worth two, that's a little step forward. There we go. Argentina, down. And the final country we have to fight is capitulated. Thank goodness. Still not done though, because we have a lot of countries to integrate, and a lot of political power to get. 11 countries. Luckily I have more than enough convoys to make this work, so just need to build in them for a bit, get them down, and then get the PP. You know what would be nice? It would be nice if this final focus was kind of like forming Greater Italy where you just need to have the required territory as a puppet or something, and you can do it. But no, I have to integrate all of this stuff. So I guess if you want a tiny little bit of advice, annex what you can when you can. But whatever, it be that way sometimes. And here we are. I have 1800 political power, and it's time for the big event. The Great Integration. Panama. Uruguay. America. Now take a moment. Paraguay. Dominica. And Haiti. There we go. We're here. We can do it. We can do... Embrace Pan-Hispanic Nationalism. Ooh, finally, let's get those cores. Alright, we have 536 factories before this focus. How many will we have after? 803, which immediately jumped down to 712. Still, quite a lot. And hey, a unique event. Unification of the Hispanics. Primo Rivera has done it. He has unified the Hispanic world. So, is this worth it? No! <laughs> no, it isn't! I won't lie, it's fun having all of these extra cores now. Like, it's neat, but it's 1946. <laughs> Nothing I did today happened because of the buffs Falange Spain have just gotten. Like, I won't lie, being able to core Portugal was probably the most useful thing here, but I'm fairly certain I can win without it. And, more importantly, unification of the Hispanics is, ironically, an indirect nerf to reasserting American dominance, because I had to spend so much time, so much political power, to reintegrate all of these countries, when the easier thing to do would have just been to justify and annex all of them. So ironically, in giving them a fairly powerful focus, they've made their older focus worse by comparison, which is quite funny. But here's the other thing as well. Paradox have actually kind of done this right. I know that sounds weird to say, but when this focus was introduced, they said they wanted it to be an end-game focus. And it is. It's 1946. The game is over. So, 
I can't really complain about it. Paradox set out to do something specific, and they did it exactly how they wanted to do it. So, it's fine. You know what would actually make this really good? An achievement. This really needs an achievement to go along with it. You know, if I got an achievement for going all the way to 1946 or whatever to do this, that would be nice, but... Yeah, I, I need a rest. I need a rest. So until next time, everybody, I thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And until we meet again, from me, Bubbles Zest, goodbye.